There are a whole host of smaller patching productivity and UI features in Mac 7 that you may not have come across. One of my favorites is the addition of the transform feature in the object action menu. Here it is in action. I'll take a snippet that I often use from the snippet browser and drag it into the patcher. This is a B patcher, but what if I don't want or need to see the UI objects or interface any longer? This is where the transform menu comes in handy. Just hover over the left hand edge of the object to reveal the object action menu and go into the transform menu and select transform B patcher to patcher. And there you see it changes into a standard max object box with the abstraction name typed in. You can also do this with things like Visi abstractions. I'll just take Bercoser for an example here and drag it into the patch. And again, if I just want to hide the B patcher and turn it into a standard patcher, you can go right ahead and do that. And all the corresponding inlets and outlets are saved. You can also go the other direction and go from patcher to B patcher. Another cool aspect of the transform feature is that it can use any object's changed attributes into typed in arguments in the object box. For example, say I make a groove object. And at some point in my patching, I change the loop attribute to one, but I want Max to remember this. To do that, I simply open up the transform menu again and select changed attributes to arguments. This way, the object is guaranteed to always load up with the loop attribute set to one, and you have the visual feedback of knowing what the attribute is set to. I hope you enjoy these little features as much as I do. It makes my patching workflow a little bit easier and a little bit more fun. Enjoy!